giving you an opportunity to get the full story from the people who tell it best. This is Mediacom News Leaders. I'm Elizabeth Kling with Mediacom News Leaders. We're talking with Zach and Zion Swoboda, volunteers with the Superhero Heart Run. It's coming up here in Des Moines. Thank you both so much for being here today. You bet. Um, so tell us a little bit, uh, first of all, about the organization that is benefiting from this uh, really cool event, um, the Help a Heart organization. Yeah. Tell us about that. So Help a Heart has been around since 2006. And essentially what Help a Heart does is it's a network of families. It's a support system where people can, can get plugged in and uh, Help a Heart has given away over $160,000 in funding to wow. congenital heart families since 2006. They're making a big impact for a lot of families who need it. So yes. tell us about then how, um, how you became involved with the organization when um, Zion here was, was born. You're now three years old. And um, so when he was born, tell us about that, um, that time. Yeah. So when he was born, we actually were unaware of his heart condition mm. until two weeks after. Upon his diagnosis, um, we had posted it on social media, you know, asking for prayer and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were contacted by a member of Help a Heart that said, hey, look, here's this great organization that is here for you guys, for emotional support, financial support, mm -hmm. anything that you guys need. And it connects you to a lot of other families that are going through the exact same things that we were. Yeah. And so... Is that pretty typical that families don't realize that there's a situation until after, you know, a little bit later, like you guys were two weeks after? You know, I would say that's probably safe to say. Yeah. You know, every, every case is, is different. There's over 40 different types of congenital heart defects, mm -hmm. and each one of them is, is different and unique to, to the person that is affected by it. So what has it meant for Zion then over the last three years? Yeah. So at the age of two, January 12th, of 2017, he had his first open heart surgery. Um, he was born with a condition called Tetralogy of Fallot. Uh, it's a series of three different heart defects uh, in the heart, and uh, it's been quite the journey. Um, but Help a Heart has been there uh, through it, uh, a big deal for uh, emotional support and just connecting us with other families going Who through know it. know what you're going through, sure, that can so, mean so much. Yeah. And then to be a part of this event, Zion, you get to wear something really cool, don't you? Because you, mm -hmm. um, you have a special cape here that has a special designation on it. Tell us about this. Yeah, so what Help a Heart does, every person who registers mm -hmm. gets their own cape, mm -hmm. and every heart hero gets a custom cape. Oh, very cool. So, so yeah. how, how many um, participants are you expecting and how many heart heroes will be there um, then for the run? You know, I would estimate close to probably 500 people would wow. show up for the run, um, close to maybe 100 heart heroes, I would say. Yeah. We're hoping for, this is the fifth year, so we're hoping for, for a crazy awesome turnout. And just from your experience um, in, in the past with it, you said it kind of kicks off with a, a really special moment for the families. Yeah. It can get kind of emotional, yeah. Yes, yeah, registration is from 12 to 2, mm -hmm. and uh, we encourage people to be there at 1 o'clock. Mm -hmm. That is because there is a heart hero parade for guys like Zion, guests and other families. They, they create this tunnel, and they have a special song that they play, and the heart families walk through it, and there's also a heart angel parade for um, the unfortunate families that have lost their children. And there's also face painting, there's crafts, there's kids dash, there's kids races and stuff like that. Lots of cool stuff happening. Yeah, so just a great so, way to spend time together. And, yeah. and uh, this is all gonna be taking place at Raccoon River Park then, Sunday, October 14th. You said 12 to four, but you encourage people to get there, get signed up um, yes. and, and yeah. get, get your cape. Um, what do you recommend as far as age groups uh, to participate? Yeah, you know, all ages, yeah. all are welcome. You know, it's called the Superhero Heart Run, mm -hmm. but uh, there's a lot of walkers. You don't have to run. To you <laughs> don't have to run. Yeah. You can walk, you can bring young, old. It's, it's really uh, just more of a thing for support and just being together, That's raising wonderful. awareness for CHD. 
right. Well, thank you both so much for your time. Zion, we'll be excited to see you in your cape coming up here on October 14th, and we wish you both just the best of luck. Thank you. Thank you. We've been talking with Zach and Zion Swoboda, volunteers with the Superhero Heart Run. Join us next time here on Mediacom News Leaders.